Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. And today we are gonna test some clothing and styling hacks that I found on TikTok. Again, for the second time, it's a part two. So I tried to choose a variety of hacks that just piqued my interest from my For You page. So some of these are actually practical, like new ways to style clothing in your closet or quick fixes for things. And other ones are just, they're just straight up things that I saw on TikTok and was like, there's no freaking way this actually works. Like this seems so weird, but I have to try it. I have to find out for myself. So there's a variety. We've got a little bit of both and we are gonna test them all and see which ones actually work, which ones hold up and which ones are just not it. And a huge thank you to this video's sponsor, a longtime partner on my channel and a company that I personally just love and use all the time. And that is ThreadUp. So thank you ThreadUp. I needed a few new items to test some of these hacks. And I also just wanted to give my wardrobe a little refresh as we move into the new season, into winter. And ThreadUp is a great place to do that. They are the largest online thrift store with up to 90% off your favorite brands like American Eagle, Madewell, Free People. Buying clothes secondhand, not only saves money, but it also helps the environment. And ThreadUp makes it super easy to do that without even having to leave your house. And if you wanna try ThreadUp, click my link down in the description and use code Sierra30 to get 30% off your first order. Personally, I like to filter by my sizes and my favorite brands and also the condition of the clothing. And then if I'm looking for something specific, like for some of the hacks in this video, I needed a specific type of clothing, like dresses or sweaters or pants, then I'll also just filter by that. There's a lot of options. They have over 40,000 brands and new arrivals every single day. I got uh, quite a lot of cute stuff in this order from ThreadUp. This top that I'm wearing right now is one of them. It's actually from Madewell and was brand new, like with the tag still attached. The estimated retail price was $89, but on ThreadUp, I got it for $30.99. Madewell is one of my favorite brands, but it is expensive. <laughs> so I tend to buy a lot of my Madewell clothes on ThreadUp. The quality is still amazing and it saves me a ton of money. In this order, I actually found four pieces from Madewell among a ton of other cute finds. I don't have time to show you everything I got, but I will show you a few of my favorites. And then over on my Instagram, I'll show a couple more too. So first up, we have this Old Navy blazer, which I think is such a fun transitional piece going from fall into winter. Super cute, super comfy, even has the tag still attached here, which I guess I can take off now. <laughs> the estimated retail price was $45, but the thread up price was $19.99. And then under that blazer, I actually had another thread up Old Navy find. This is my first ever maternity piece. I decided to take a little peruse through the maternity tab on thread up just to see if there was anything that caught my eye. And when I saw this black wrap top, I thought this would be a perfect staple going through my pregnancy because it totally works and fits now even when I'm not showing that much. But I have room to grow here. So the estimated retail price of this one was $24 and on ThreadUp, I got it for $14.99. And then I got this Ann Taylor loft jumpsuit that has a nice comfy elastic waist, which I love. And pockets. <laughs> the estimated retail price of this one was $100 and the thread up price was $50.99. And this was another one that was brand new, tags still attached and everything. I love this red velvety top, super soft and comfy and perfect for Christmas time. The brand is Old Navy and the estimated retail price was $25, but on thread up, I got it for $11.99. I love this Madewell cardigan that I got. It gives me like Taylor Swift cardigan vibes. Also super versatile because I can wear it as a top like this, or I can unbutton it and wear it open with like a tank top underneath. It's neutral, it's comfy, it's knit, it's soft, and I got a really good deal on it. The estimated retail price was $149, but on ThreadUp, I got it for $43.99. So if you wanna check out ThreadUp and do a little online thrifting for the new season, click my link down in the description and use code Sierra30 for 30% off your first order. All right, now let's get into testing these TikTok hacks. The first hack that we are gonna test out is definitely in that category of things I'm skeptical of actually working. I mean, the girl on the TikTok made it look amazing and easy and super cute, but my faith in myself being able to recreate it is low. So turning a pair of old tights into a bow top, let's roll the clip. All right, so tights, <laughs> scissors, let's do this. Okay, so first step is to cut off 
the ankle. Let me make sure these are lined up. And then cut the crotch. How much of the crotch am I to cut? I'm gonna start with a little bit because then I can always add more. All right, maybe I should touch that up a little bit. That is rough. If Laura DIY is the queen of DIYs, I am the jester of DIYs because I'm just a big joke. <laughs> All right, we're good. Let's go put these on. Okay, tights are on. They keep riding up. They do not want to stay down like the girl in the TikToks. So maybe mine will just be a little more, a little more of a crop top. I'm actually surprised at how smooth this edge on the top looks because this is the part that I cut. Like this right here on the top is the crotch and then the bottom here is the waistband. And I think because these are stretched out so much on the top, you can't even tell that my cutting was Sus. But now we are going to take our legs. Oh wait, the shoulder. Cross it over, tie it. Oh, this is hard to tie. All right, <laughs> there's my bow. Honestly, it's, it's not that bad, but I definitely think if I was really gonna try to wear this as a top, A, I would need less opaque tights. Tights that are much thicker and don't show any skin through because you can definitely see my skin. Also, I would probably wanna wear a black bra to try and disguise that more and definitely a strapless bra. I think the biggest difference between my attempt and the TikTok is this bow. The bow in the TikTok looked immaculate. Mine looks like the reality side of Instagram versus reality. The bow is rough. The bow is not the best. I think the best case scenario with this hack is really thick, high quality tights and also long or extra long tights so that you have extra leg room to play with on the bow. Also tucking the top into the pants helped a lot to keep it from rolling up like that. So if you were actually gonna try and wear this hack as a top, I think high-waisted pants that you can tuck the tights into is a must. I'm gonna go ahead and give this hack points for being really inventive and looking really great in the TikTok. But as a real life application, actually trying to wear this as a shirt, it's, it's not, it's not gonna work for me. So this next hack is a brand new inventive way to style jumpsuits. I this in my last video, but take a jumpsuit and turn it around to the back, dress it up with your favorite accessories like a belt, and pair it with your favorite lacy cami or bralette. Literally just wearing it backwards, that's it, that's the hack. Now the jumpsuit that the girl on the TikTok was wearing looked great styled backwards, but I get the feeling that it would take a very specific type of jumpsuit to look good styled backwards. So I think it would be good to try it with three different jumpsuits to see if it really works with all of them. So I pulled two jumpsuits from my closet that we can try. And then I also got this Ann Taylor Loft one from ThreadUp. So let's put this hack to the test. We'll do it. We'll put it to the test three times over. Okay, so first jumpsuit, the ThreadUp jumpsuit. Here is a look at what it normally looks like from the front, from the side. And here is what it looks like backwards. So it has this little tie that usually goes behind your neck when you're wearing it frontwards. So naturally it wants to sit here. It wants to sit in front of my neck because when it's forward, it wants to sit behind it. So I'm gonna tuck my head. It's a little bit of like a halter top look over here. At first glance, I don't think this looks bad. I actually think it looks kind of cute from the back, the way the crossover shows the back of my bralette, but there are definitely some corks to it. First of all, the shoulders just feel off. It doesn't feel like it's fitting me the way it's supposed to. And second of all, this jumpsuit has pockets and usually you slide your hands into pockets like this but when the jumpsuit's backwards you have to go like this they are backwards sideways butt pockets now <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and put a belt on with this to style it a little bit more just like the girl in the tiktok did i don't think this looks bad by any means i do think the tie here and the pockets make it a little bit awkward but my main question is what problem is this hack solving i guess it's giving you a new way to style a jumpsuit that you already have i'm gonna say it looks fine in jumpsuit number one but it it doesn't really add anything it just makes things a little bit more awkward fitting. Jumpsuit number two also has pockets. We we love pockets on this channel. So I'm thinking it's gonna have the same problem there as the first one, but I'm really interested to see what the button front design looks like on the back. And here's a look at the jumpsuit from the side and the back here. Now this elastic waist in the back is now gonna be front and center. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, this one I think is more noticeably backwards than the first jumpsuit. First of all, the material of this jumpsuit is thicker, so I feel like the pockets show more and, and bunch kind of weird on my hips. Also, I feel like the buttons on the back clearly look like they're meant to be on the front. And I think if I wore this jumpsuit like this out in public, people would be like, D does this girl know that she has her clothes on backwards? I don't think the elastic part in the front actually 
takes anything away from it. I think it looks fine. But I think the material and the structure of this one and the buttons, it just, it's its not one that's gonna work wearing backwards. This one's a no. Jumpsuit number three is actually a pajama jumpsuit and I wear it all the time. It's very soft, very comfy. Here's what it looks like from the front. It also has pockets. I didn't realize all three of my jumpsuits have pockets. I guess that's just a requirement for being a jumpsuit in my closet. Must have pockets. Here is what it looks like from the side and from the back. The back is just a higher cut scoop neck versus the v-neck in the front. So let's go ahead and flip this backwards. Okay, I think this is the jumpsuit of the three that looks most similar to the one the girl wore in the TikTok when you flip it around backwards. Because I feel like the scoop high neck in the front, it, it does give it a different look than just wearing it normal. Here is what it looks like from the side, from the back. This one doesn't scoop low enough that you see the bralette. It would have to go to like here, but I will say this is a jumpsuit that I wear for comfort, like lounging around the house. And it's just not as comfortable backwards. Again, with the pockets, it, it feels a little weird. <laughs> but of the three jumpsuits I tried, I think this one is the one that works the best. But I'm gonna go ahead and say this hack as a whole for me, not something I would actually use. Sure, if you wanna try a new way to style your jumpsuits, try flipping it backwards, see what it looks like. But I don't think this is a very practical hack that actually, it, it doesn't actually really work that well. There, there are a lot of quirks to it, at least for me with my jumpsuits in the way I tried it. But I feel like I gave it a fair shot. I tried it three different times. So hack number three, I am really hoping that this one works because it would solve a lot of my problems. Actually, not even a lot of my problems. Just one, one very specific problem that I, I do frequently have this problem though, which is my bra showing in little tie up shirts like this. And I was scrolling through my For You page and I saw this hack that supposedly solves this problem very easily. Essentially, all this hack really is, is looping one end of the shirt under your bra before you tie it. So I have this shirt that I really like, and it's meant to be worn tied up like that, but I feel like I don't wear it as much as I should because every time I do wear it, I end up fidgeting with my bra a lot and just trying to make it stay. So if this hack works, I feel like I'm gonna get so much more wear out of this shirt and the few other shirts I have in my closet like it. So fingers crossed, let's test out this hack. Okay, so she crosses over the two sides, then she takes the right side and tucks it under the bra. Did she tie it in a bow or was it a knot? Okay, it's just a knot. So I have it looped here and I'm just gonna tie it. I feel like Britney Spears. <laughs> My bra is showing a little bit on the bottom here, like uh, right above the knot, but maybe if I loosen it. Okay, once I adjusted it a little bit, you can't see the bra. I feel like it's relatively secure. So here's a look at the top from the front. And then even when I turn to the side, which I feel like usually you'd be able to see a little bit of my bra here, you can't see it like this. See, when it's not looped under, it definitely does show more of the bra here and down below. If anything, looping it under just helps disguise the band of the bra better in a top like this that's really low cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and say this hack works. It's not a perfect fix. It doesn't secure it perfectly. And I did have to adjust it a little bit, but overall I think it definitely works better than just tying the top normally. And from here on out, I am gonna go ahead and loop this under my bra whenever I wear this top. And I, I think it helps. The fourth hack that we are gonna test is a quick way to style your sweaters and cardigans so that they have that off the shoulder look. So here's where my skepticism comes in for this one. The sweater looks really cute in this TikTok, like styled upside down like that, but we're only seeing this from one angle in one pose for like one second. What does this look like from the back? What does it look like from the side? What does it look like when she raises her arms up? Does this sweater look good when I'm raising the roof? That is the question that I am trying to answer here. So I'm gonna make sure I flail around in every direction when I test this hack. I got this cute Madewell cardigan from ThreadUp. Perfect to test out this hack. Actually looks really similar to the one in the TikTok. So let's find out. Let's see what this looks like from all the angles. All right, so here is the cardigan normally, right side up the way I would normally wear it. Now let's go ahead and do the TikTok hack 
flip it upside down. Ta-da! <laughs> All right, so first things first, the base of this cardigan, the bottom of it that is now the off the shoulder part is definitely not fitted enough to stay like this. So I feel like you would need a cardigan that's tighter fitting, but also the buttons here are already kind of pulling across my chest. So if this cardigan was tighter on the bottom so that it fit my shoulders, I think it would be more like this across my chest. Not my favorite look, but I could pull it up above my shoulders and I think I think it'll stay like that. Kind of like a Jedi poncho look. <laughs> if I adjust the buttons just the right way, so they're not pulling, and I pull the now top of the sweater to just the right angle, and I do the hands on the hip pose that the girl in the TikTok was doing, I feel like it almost works, except it, it does look kind of weird down here because I unbuttoned the top now bottom button. Because surprise, surprise, the width of my waist is just a little bit bigger than the width of my neck. So here's what it looks like from the front, from the side. From the back. Oh, the, the back's kind of cute though. With me flailing my arms up and down, this is what it looks like. I think for this hack to even remotely work and look the way it did in the TikTok, you would need a really wide neck cardigan so that it could fit your waist properly, but a cardigan that's tight enough at the base to fit your shoulders and stay up, but loose enough at the chest or if you just have a smaller chest to not pull here. So I'm gonna give this one thumbs down. Definitely didn't work for me. Hack number five, I, you know what? I think I'm just gonna let you watch this one yourself. No explanation needed, no, no commentary before we watch it. I, <laughs> skepticism is an understatement with this one. The final product in the TikTok looked Okay. I mean, I feel like at first glance it looked cute, but once you look at it for a little longer, you can tell that there's like a crotch part on her shoulder. I want to try it though. I have to know, am I missing out on a whole new way to style my pajama shorts? Can these be a trendy off the shoulder crop top? We'll, we'll find out. I'm guessing no, but you know what? I'm open to the possibility. Okay. So I think all I have to do is make sure that the little tie on the shorts is facing frontwards and then take both my hands and stick them through one of the holes. No. Yes, like this. And then ta-da, ta-da, trendy, trendy crop top. Because I'm bigger than the girl in the TikTok, the leg holes of my shorts are bigger. So it's looking a little bit weird here. Maybe if I tuck these into my bra here. Okay, I feel like that's a little bit better. The seam that runs like down the middle at the crotch looks a little funky. <laughs> Who am I kidding? This whole, this whole thing just looks funky. <laughs> I think if these were a smaller pair of shorts, I think if they were like two or three sizes smaller. And so the fabric wasn't gathering here because even when I tucked it into my bra, it fixed the loose fabric here, but there's not really anything I can do about this fabric. I mean, this fabric right here is literally just the pockets. This is just, just boob touching holes. <laughs> you know what? Maybe, maybe I don't like pockets on everything. I think, I think some things can go without pockets. <laughs> this looks ridiculous. Somehow it doesn't look as bad as I expected. I feel like maybe at first glance, it could possibly pass for a top, but once you start looking at it, even just the slightest bit closer, this it's, it's inventive, it's creative. You know what, that is my favorite thing about a lot of these hacks that are a little outside of the box. They're new, they're different, they're hacks I have not seen anywhere before. So points for creativity, but thumbs down for actually working. All right, we are back to the practical hacks. This next one is a better way to tuck your jeans into boots. hope that this one works because I feel like when I wear skinny jeans with boots, it looks good. But some of my favorite pairs of jeans are more relaxed mom jeans, boyfriend jeans. And since those type of jeans tend to be looser fitting at the bottom, it looks all bunchy when I try to tuck them in. So I've got my jeans, I've got my bobby pins, my boots are on the floor and I don't have a third hand to hold them up. So I think we are ready to test this hack. All right, so imagine it's Christmas or Christmas Eve or something festive. I've got on my cute little velvety top from ThreadUp, put on my favorite mom jeans from my closet. And I think, you know what? I wanna spice this outfit up with a black belt and some matching booties. But oh no, my jeans are just too loose and baggy. So since this is as far back as the camera can go, in my home studio, I'm gonna insert some close-ups. So here is what it looks like when I just tuck the jeans into the boots normally. And then now 
I am gonna take my jeans. She just kind of like wrapped it around her finger. Take my bobby pin, shove that in and zip it. Oh gosh, okay, let's try that again. <laughs> And now here's what it looks like with the jeans tucked in using the bobby pin trick. I will say, I think it looks better. However, I don't think it looks better enough. <laughs> What's the right word for that? I don't think there's enough of an improvement to justify how uncomfortable it feels to have a bobby pin digging into my ankle. I think if I was gonna do this, A, I need more like midi boots. These are more of a true ankle boot and the ones in the video are a little bit taller, which I think gives you more room to play with with tucking in the jeans. B, I think I would need boots that aren't so tight around my ankle so that I have more room to bunch the fabric together with the bobby pin. And C, I would need to wear very thick socks because this bobby pin is not comfortable on my ankle bone. But you know what? I'm gonna say, while this hack is not perfect, and while you definitely need to do it with the right kind of boots, I think she's onto something. I think, I think this helps. I think it looks better. And I think especially with boots that are a little bit taller, a little bit looser, it would be even more of an improvement on the look of the pants tucked into the boots. And also hopefully it wouldn't be so painful on my ankles because I, I just want to take these off. I'm so ready to take these off and I've been in them for like two minutes. So this hack, I'm going to give a thumb, not a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I'm going to give it, give it a thumbs middle with a slight tilt towards a thumbs up. Like you're almost there. It's a little bit functional. It's a little bit of an improvement but not a full on yes. <laughs> All right, so hack number seven is gonna be a little bit different than the other ones that we tested. And that is because, well, well, we'll start with the backstory. I usually plan my videos pretty far out in advance. I just, I like to have a schedule. I like to have a plan. I'm very type A. And this video, I actually planned out the week before I found out I was pregnant. And one of the hacks that I had chosen for this video and was really excited to test out was this really cool hack to DIY your own two-tone jeans with with bleach. Now here's the thing, that TikTok involves a lot of bleach and bleach, not the best thing to be inhaling when you're pregnant. So I was just gonna scrap the hack and not do it, but I had already ordered these jeans to DIY from ThreadUp. And I was just mentioning this to Steven one night when we were having dinner and he was like, well, you already have the jeans and we have bleach in the laundry room. So I can test the hack. I can be you for like 20 minutes. And it was really cute that he offered to help and he was getting all excited about it. And you know what? It has been a hot minute since Steven has made an appearance on the main channel. So I said, yes, I think this is, I think it's Steven's time to shine. Without further ado, my sweet husband, Steven, connoisseur of bleach and cool TikTok DIYs. Okay, so here is a little before of the Old Navy jeans that I bought on ThreadUp. So let's see what these jeans look like after a little Steven DIY. <laughs> also, this is another one of the Madewell tops that I got on ThreadUp, but if you follow me on Instagram, you already know that. <laughs> Alrighty guys, Sierra here. No, just kidding, this is Steven's. Here we go. We're gonna do the DIY on these pants. Sierra showed me the TikTok, which I had to download the app to watch it, but here we are. And I already had the blue painter's tape on here. I'm uh, splitting up the sides as my TikToker showed me how to do this. Sounds like I just throw on some gloves or rub some bleach in. I got my tarp here so I don't ruin our nice tile. And let's see what happens. Whew. This is hard. YouTubing is really hard today. I'll do a little bit at a time, I suppose. I have no idea how much to rub it. Oh, baby. Oh, wow. Oh, it's everywhere. It's not turning white. I don't know if it's supposed to. All right. I don't know how I'm gonna flip these over. I didn't think about any of this, to be honest. I think I'm done. There's some spooky yellow stuff coming in. Two hours begin now. Uh, actually, you know what? Hey Alexa, set a timer for two hours. Two hours, starting now. By the way, if you need more time, Alexa, stop. Well friends, this is an absolute travesty. Luckily the camera doesn't look as yellow, but these are just like straight yellow. I think this is the sign that uh, 
I should be sticking with my day job. So I'm gonna take the tape off, I'm gonna rinse these and uh, give them a wash, and we'll see what garbage it looks like. So far, I have very low expectations. My hard work for the day is done. I have the pants. Time to show Sierra. Here's the front. Wow! It's they're a lot more white than I would have ever guessed. They're lighter. It's more like artisanal, very like stylistic way of approaching it. Artisanal stylistic pants made personally. Like it's not just white, it's a nice like tone. Okay. How come the back didn't stain at all? I don't know. <laughs> and then look, it's like a perfect little white blotch there and I can't get any other white blotches. I don't get it. I didn't do a good job of rubbing. I didn't think I had to. But now if I went back and did it again, which I won't, don't worry, <laughs> I would have rubbed it in really hard. I look forward to your photo shoot in these. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll put them on tomorrow and take some after pictures. Thank you, thank you substitute Sierra. Yes, my job is done. I had fun and I will gladly not participate in the bleaching pants challenge again. All right, and here is the after. So they definitely were lightened a lot, but it's not a, a consistent degree of lightening. And also the back, Stephen bleached, is not nearly as light as the front. I would love to know how the girl in the TikTok got such an even tone to the bleach because hers really did look kind of perfect. Like they looked store-bought. They're one of a kind, that is for sure. <laughs> I am gonna give this hack uh, another thumb sideways with a slight incline. I guess that's a common theme in this video. It's like, yeah, the hack works, but it didn't work the way it did in the TikTok. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and big thank you to Steven for stepping in. <laughs> and another thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video and supporting me and my channel and the content I make. Check out ThreadUp from my link in the description and you can get 30% off your first order with my code Sierra30. So be confident, be kind to your body, and I will see you guys next Friday with another new video. I'm really excited about this one. It is another small business video. And usually on the last Friday of November every year, I do a big Black Friday haul. But with things being different this year, I just, I, I don't know, it, I didn't feel like I needed to do a Black Friday haul. I definitely didn't feel comfortable going out, going to stores and shopping. And I think especially with just how crazy this year has been, using that video slot to highlight small businesses is a good idea and is something I'm really excited about. So I will see you guys then, Friday, next Friday. Have a great week. Love you so much. Bye.